millionaire so fucking bad Yo, 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 people, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be talking about this microphone. It's the T2 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. The T2 microphone comes with a titanium a sputtered dual diaphragm capsule. And it also has four polar patterns, which we will go through a bit later. And I'm speaking on it right now. With titanium being much stiffer and three times lighter than gold, your transients will not be the same after all my testing that I've done on this microphone. The T2 is is recommended for drums, a percussion, overheads, hi-hats, percussive instruments, even bass, and amazing on vocals, which we will check out later in the video too. Some of the highlighted features include the T2 is a handcrafted titanium sputtered true condenser capsule with a very accurate definition and a fast transient response. You get four switchable polar patterns. They are cardioid, omnidirectional, the figure eight, and hypercardioid. And you also get this very innovative close mic in shock mount the t2 is also available as a matched pair so with that being said let's go and roll the intro Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every Monday. Just before we dive straight into the video, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. As already mentioned, all the audio in this video will be recorded on the SE Electronics T2 microphone, which I've got going straight into my Apollo Twin X, which is going into the MacBook Pro. As always, I'm recording in Logic Pro X, and the gain on the Apollo Twin X is set at 30 decibels. I'm recording in 24-bit 48 kilohertz and you are listening to the raw and unprocessed audio meaning there's no compression EQ or any type of noise reduction on the audio that you're listening to but I may need to boost the audio later in post so keep checking out the information down below so with that being said let's go and see what comes in the box so as you can see, everything comes in this large box with tons of information all around it. And within the box, you get this awesome flight case style metal carrying case, as well as being a great travel case. I'm highly impressed with SE Electronics for giving a proper flight case with the T2 microphone. And thank you, SE Electronics, a great addition to a great mic. Upon opening the box, you're obviously going to get the T2 microphone and you also get this custom made a unique locking mounting system. And within the mounting system, you get the 5 8 to 3 8 microphone stand adapter. And that is basically what comes in the box. Also, if you want to pick up the microphone for yourself, it will set you back around the £450 at the time of filming this video. As always, I'll drop some links in the description down below. Moving forward, let's go and check out the build quality and the features. So the T2 comes equipped with a, a titanium a sputtered capsule at the top, which is a handcrafted a dual diaphragm capsule, meaning I can speak from it on the front side and from the rear side too. And as far as the build quality goes, this mic feels excellent, very robust and professional. And you get this brand new die cast all metal housing and a reinforced spring steel wire mesh grill. The T2 has a number of features that makes it very versatile. From left to right, you get the attenuation switch, which gives you a minus 10 and a minus 20 decibels pad. And the next three position switch gives you a 60 and 120 hertz bass roll off. The two switches on the right side of the microphone control its polar pattern. The right center switch offers three settings. To the left, the microphone capturing the omnidirectional pattern. To the right, the microphone capturing the figure eight pattern. In the center, you have two options, cardioid and high hypercardioid. The switch on the far right toggles between those two polar patterns. Switch to the left for cardioid, a switch to the right for hypercardioid. On the rear of the microphone, there's no switches, but however, you will find a excellently engraved SE Electronics logo. Now, talking about the shock mount, it's a heavy, durable shock mount. It's got some serious weight to it, and whichever position you put the mic in, it's going to be staying there. And another great feature is that the up-close micing that you can do with this, I've rarely found it on many other microphones that I've reviewed. So in my view, one of the best, if not the best, shock mount that I've seen to date. 
So now that you've had a chance to see the build quality and the features, let's go and check out the tech spec. So just looking at the technical specification, the capsule is a handcrafted one inch a true condenser capsule. The polar patterns are cardioid, hypercardioid, omnidirectional, and the figure eight. Frequency responses are 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. Sensitivity is a 25 MVPA. The max SPL is 130 decibels, depending on the attenuation pad. The equivalent noise level is a 13 dBA. Signal to noise ratio is 81 decibels. You get the low cut filter switch as I've already shown you, 40 hertz to 80 hertz, and the attenuation switchable pad is minus 10 dB and minus 20 dB. You will require 48 volts of phantom power to power the microphone. The electrical impedance is a 22 ohms, and the connectivity is a three-pin male XLR connector, and the T2 comes weighing in at 290 grams. I've brought my good friend to do some vocal testing on the microphone, so Rach, let's take it away. Rangers are rushing past, just trying to get home. You were the only safe haven that I've known. Hits me a false speed, feel like I can breathe. Nobody knows this pain inside me. My world is crumbling. I should never have let you go. I think I'm lost without you. I just feel crushed without you. Strangers are rushing past, just trying to get home. You were the only safe haven that I've known. Hits me a false speed, feel like I can breathe. Nobody knows this pain inside me. My world is crumbling. I should never have let you go. I think I'm lost without you. I just feel crushed without you. I never had Wanna be on the cover of Forbes magazine Smiling next to Oprah and the Queen Oh, every time I close my Isn't she just an awesome singer? Thanks a lot, Rach. Let's go and see what the T2 sounds like on a guitar.
isn't he just an amazing guitarist? Really appreciate it, Paul. Thanks a lot. So the T2 is a great mic for percussive instruments. So I went and bought Harry in to play the tabla and see what the tabla sounds like on the T2. So Harry, let's take it away. Thanks a lot, Harry. Highly appreciated. Okay, now that you've had a chance to see the microphone in action, let me go and give you my final thoughts. So I could easily recommend the SE Electronics T2 microphone based on my experience. The T2 gives an awesome mid-range texture with a lot of punch on the percussive instruments, meaning it does low end very well. On the acoustic guitar and the vocals, the T2 sounded absolutely beautiful, wouldn't you say? And on the tabla, it made it sound pristine. The clarity on the T2 and the bass response was actually amazing. And in all fairness, everything I threw at the T2 sounded phenomenal. Being very small in size and having a choice of polar patterns makes this microphone very versatile. So if you're looking for a value for money microphone with some great mid-range textures, then the T2 may just be for you. If you've got any questions about the T2 or any of the other reviews that I've done on this channel, drop me a comment down below. Anyway, peeps, that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit that like button if you like the video or smash it if that's something you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.